welcome back. So today we are planting our garden. So it's May 18th. We usually plant probably like the weekend or two depending on the weather um, before Memorial weekend. So as that's coming up this next weekend and it's finally getting warm and nice and it's windy. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna get planting here. So we invite you to join us. So first I wanna just talk about the garden because I get so many questions about our garden. We have so many people that come over and they see our garden and then they like ask all the questions. So we built this garden back in 2016 and my inspiration was Joanna Gaines's garden. That's where I got the inspiration to build this garden the way it's built. And I absolutely love how it turned out. We did the two raised beds on each side. And then um, in the middle, we just have like a potting bench where I like to make pretty with flowers. We have other areas where we can put like potted plants and stuff in there. So I love how it turned out. Of course, I painted it white because I just love white and it matches our chicken coop. So that works out well. My husband did a lot of work to get this for me and he did amazing. Here's some before and afters of when we were building it. My husband dug in all those posts by hand. It was so much work, but he did so good. We built everything together and leveled it out and everything, but he did all the really hard work. <laughs> So first before we plant, we have to go get some compost because we are transplanting some strawberries that we have and our city has free compost. So that's really awesome. So we're going to go get a few buckets of that so we can plant our strawberries. compost pile. It's a decent pile. I'm actually surprised there isn't less. That's pretty good. <laughs> Some good looking dirt. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you get to load them up now. He got chili out, I had to put a such on. So it's not cold. <laughs> He's like my heater. <laughs> like at nighttime, I have to like snuggle up to him because I get so cold all the time. <laughs> But anyways, let's get planting. <laughs> okay, so this year Vince actually um, started all of our plants from seeds. So I don't know, when did you start these? In March? Yeah. yeah, in March he started all these and look at it. Except this of course, this is not a plant. Um, all right, so we are planting lots of different peppers. Um, of course, tomatoes. We have some lettuce, cilantro. This is some thyme. And this, my husband's trying to grow an avocado tree from an avocado seed. Yeah. Wish him good luck, you guys. <laughs> and then we got some more basil because that's like my favorite. And then we are going to be planting these directly in the dirt. We've never actually planted like the corn or the sunflowers before. Um, so this will be our first year planting these, um, but I'm really excited about it. So we like to soak the seeds um, before we plant them. So yeah, we're gonna get some sweet corn, sunflowers, and then green beans, which we do grow green beans every year by seed. Side of the garden, we actually have um, asparagus. And as you can see, right there is one guy coming up. This is onions, my husband just like put these in yesterday. And then um, here's some more of the asparagus. So those are coming in good. So our soil is full of eggshells. Um, so that's what you're probably seeing um, when he was raking and that's why the chickens love to eat in our garden because they're pulling out eggshells. Oh look it. There they are, doing it right now. That's what happens. <laughs> so we always plant our tomatoes over here. So that is what we're planting first. These tomato plants get enormous. All right. First plant is in the garden. <laughs> If 
finding lots of worms this year. Whoa. Look at that beast. Nice. I'm put them back in. Yep. If you have lots of worms in your soil, that means you have really good soil. Look at our kitty. He loves to hang outside with us, so I figured today was a good night for him to come hang with us and the chickens. <laughs> All right, tomatoes are planted. Got the bamboo whipping stick that we're gonna put in there. <laughs> yeah, right. Wife doesn't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I have it's no idea. Work better than your steel cages. I don't know. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're actually doing, you're gardening? Because you can't get your hands dirty, so you're doing it. We're going to see who's better, this or a bamboo stick? Me. <laughs> if you're wrong, you get 50 lashes with that thing. Yep. Wow, that was... That was excellent. Oh, that was a nice insertion. Last one. Can she do it? Oh, finesse. Oh, yep. Final touches. <laughs> yeah. They look nice. They look wonderful. Are the poblano peppers we've never planted these peppers before but we love them um, they're so good so we figured we would plant some this year hopefully they do good why he is planting I want to show you guys my raspberry patch so my parents have like this enormous raspberry patch at their farm so I wouldn't um, got some sprigs of raspberries and we planted them two years ago and they are thriving they're beautiful they're coming in I'm, I hope we get raspberries this year okay so here's our raspberry patch and they are just going crazy in this little area we had to fence it off obviously our chickens would love to have some fresh raspberries but um, I know they're kind of hard to see but um, these sprigs have just like went crazy in this little area um, we only planted five like skinny sprigs and look at them all they're just every year more and more come in so i hope one day my raspberry patch is as big as my parents because i love fresh raspberries red pepper is next Woo! all right this side is all done we have uh lettuce here that is the cilantro and then this is thyme and then that little guy is parsley so woohoo we got it all planted now we gotta move to this side hi Ozzy hi all right so this side we're gonna start planting seeds all right so first we're gonna plant the beans we always plant them along the back here. They grow up the fence here and you can actually see like leftover <laughs> bean stuff, stuff from here. Vines. Oh yeah, bean vines, that's what they're called. <laughs> so we're gonna plant those in the back here. growing beans on it so they always do good every year so we just gotta stick with what we're doing and it works it works all right now we're gonna do our sunflowers Woohoo! my favorite I can't wait to have sunflowers these in the front we have never grown these like I mentioned so I really hope they grow and bloom I want sunflowers Right, next is the sweet corn and then in this corner we have this little wooden barrel that's where we're gonna put our strawberry plants that we have to transplant all right so we're gonna go get those strawberry plants get this guy this is my rose bush I have roses planted all along the side of the house as are you sweet as a rose <laughs> cute. Alright, so this is where <laughs> we have random strawberry plants and 
They just kind of fell out of a different planter of ours and just kind of started seeding on their own. So we just want to transplant these because we want to keep these going, but I know our chickens will eat them. So got to keep everything in the garden that we want to live. <laughs> While he's digging those up, if you guys watched my last weekend vlog and you saw we set up the pool and you saw how like red and brown it was when we did like the chemical and how gross it was from our water because we have a lot of iron. Well, this is the next day. So that is 24 hours later. I'm gonna show you what the water looks like already. Woohoo! Look at that, you guys. It is not Bahamas yet. There's just a itty bitty bit of uh, yellow still in the water. But yeah, 24 hours later, you couldn't even see the bottom yesterday. And now look at that. So pretty. So this will run probably for another day or two and this will be Bahamas clear. How's it going, honey? Good. Getting them without killing them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So in case you didn't know, I have my own entourage. Yep. <laughs> They're my little guardians. <laughs> They're like my shadow. They just follow. They just follow me around. <laughs> but they're out. You see him? There he is. Our little rabbit family. There's one of them. Hi, Mr. Rabbit. Hey. Oh, he's sniffing. <laughs> See how close I can get to him. Oh, there he goes. Sorry. All right, let's get our strawberries planted. Those are nice sized strawberries. You stay away from my strawberries. <laughs> All right, strawberries. That looks great. Get everything watered. The watering can. We have a spigot right here in our garden. What do you got there? Big old fat mama. You got Lulu. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Lulu. Aw. You're a sapphire gem. That's her breed. She's pretty girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, everything is planted for 2020. Woohoo! So there it is. Oh yeah, grow, baby, grow. Thanks, Mr. Gardener. Anytime. <laughs> yes, and I hope we get some strawberries this year. We might. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us on planting our garden. <laughs> I hope this was fun, and I hope your gardens are getting planted soon, or maybe they are already in Minnesota. We plant them maybe a little later than other areas. I don't know. <laughs> if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and you are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram as well. So we will see you in the next vlog, but first, we have to go see that sunset. I love our sunsets. This is getting ready for the sunset. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Aw, are you rolling? You crazy kitty. What are you doing? Aw, the sun in your eyes? He's the sunset patroller. That's what we call him. <laughs> Takes after mama.